We're going through a vintage estate sale and I'm telling you what I would do with every item in the box to decorate. A kid's tea set. I'd put it together like a collection. Maybe in nooks and crannies. A house blessing plate. Yeah, I'd put that on a gallery wall. And these vintage cuties on your bookshelf, a shelf on the wall, on your vanity, with something larger and more basic next to them so they kind of stand out. A little fruit tray would go on my table for serving or yeah, on my counter with soaps in it. I'd put this gorgeous embroidered piece on a pillow or in a frame on my wall. For those of us that don't drink tea, I love how it gives me directions. So I'd put it on my table with tea in it. Yeah, we have another stack of good ones. I guess I'm gonna have to get creative. I would store this one on my speedboat for when I need extra reading. In the bathroom for those long, never mind. In a gift basket for a friend with some other blue and white things. Don't hate me now, but I would take the pages out of this one and make it into a book box for my craft room. I could use these together as a centerpiece on my table to prop things up. These lead crystals, I might put them next to the tub with some great florals surrounding them. Right in the middle of a display shelf, like the focal point. And this set of eight, if I had the whole set, I'd use them for an outdoor barbecue. And if I had just one, a trinket tray or a candy dish for my living room. Yeah, I put candy in my living room, don't you? Let's do our thought for the day. The way you tell your story to yourself matters. That's so true, tell yourself a great story. And you guys, thanks so much for all the ways you support Whimsy Barn. Come back tomorrow, we'll do it again.